Rosie here. Hey, do you like the braces? Pretty groovy, huh? Well, they're also very handy. They're holding my trousers up. <laughs> braces work a bit like springs and rubber bands. They've got plenty of stretchy zing in them. You can stretch them out of shape and they'll oh, ah, ping back into shape really easily. I wonder, how do springs and rubber bands work? Hmm? We're bouncing them. When you stretch them, they go around stuff to hold them. And it's something to do with elastic. Springs work like go boingy boingy if, if you press down on them. By pulling them together. You sort of pull them apart and then you let go of one end and both of the ends that spring and with the rubber bands you pull them, stretch them and then they and then they shoot away. With a rubber band you can play with them, you can put them in your hair and springs you can they work in machines. A rubber band um goes around a toilet roll or something that you want to make. Hmm, you might be right. Hey, are these cool or what? And I've also got a rubber band. Maybe the rubber band and the braces are related. Maybe they're cousins. Or maybe they're a sister of a friend, of an uncle, of an aunt, of a... Maybe not. You know, when I stretch the rubber band with my fingers like this, I can feel a pulling force. The further I stretch the rubber band, the stronger the pulling force. And that's because the rubber band wants to shorten itself again, back to its original size. Oh, like this. Ow. See? The rubber band has shortened itself. Back to the way it was. The pulling force of a rubber band can be put to good use. There. It holds these papers and stops them from separating because it's pulling on itself to keep it in the same shape. It doesn't want to stretch. But you can use rubber bands for more than just work. Thank you. Here we have a rubber band on a glider. The rubber band is here on the undercarriage and it's attached to the glider with this hook. Spin the propeller round and round and it makes the rubber band stretch. Of course the rubber band doesn't want to stretch and it's starting to pull back. It wants to be shorter again. So when I let the glider go, it'll make the propeller spin round really fast. You ready to see it in action? Okay, the countdown. Three, two, one, launching! A bungee cord is really like a huge rubber band. Now they offered me the opportunity to do a bungee and I said, well, thank you very much, but no. So they got a stunt double and here she is. I don't know who they think she looks like, but she's prepared to do the job and without complaining. And that's probably because she doesn't have a mouth. Anyway, to the top and beyond. Tighten the bungee cord around her ankles, nice and firm, then prepare for launching. In three, two, one. Woohoo! Let's see that again, this time in slow. See how the bungee cord only stretches so far? Then it pings back into shape. It's time to test that pulling force myself. So far, so good. Whoa. The pulling force is starting to kick in. Oh, I hope you're holding on tight. This rope doesn't want to stretch. It's pulling me back. It's pulling harder than I am. Whoa! Whoa! Ooh. Oh. Now I 
know how that funny-looking stunt double felt. <sighs> yeah, but she wasn't even upside down. There are two different types of springs. There's the closed coil spring and the open coiled spring. A closed coil spring works very similar to a rubber band. Stretch it and the pulling force kicks in. Boing! And it goes back into its original shape, closed. Which is very different from an open coiled spring. See the coils open? Push it closed and it wants to spring back open. Open. Closed. Open. And that's how a ballpoint pen works. It has open coils. You push them closed when you're pushing down a pen nib. Release it and you get the clicking sound as the spring releases and opens again. Here we have a chest expander. And this works by being a closed coil that needs to be opened. But it's really hard. So you really have to pull to get it to stretch. <sighs> pull to get it to stretch. <sighs> this was really hard work. <sighs> no, it's nothing like the bungee. You'll be okay. Springs can measure forces. Forces like weight. This is a scale here for measuring weight and it has a hook attached to the object that you're going to measure. It has a pointer sitting at zero and a closed spring. Introduce the force of weight. And that spring is stretched. The pointer goes down to 15. Take away that force of weight and the spring closes again. The pointer goes to zero. See, nothing like the bungee. Now over here, I've got some kitchen scales. The pointer is at zero, and inside is an open coil. Introduce some weight at the top, and watch that pointer. The open coil is closed by the weight, which moves the pointer around. Bathroom scales have a similar spring inside that gets squashed when you introduce weight. But you'll have to test that one out yourself. Because weight can be a pretty personal thing, OK? Great. Oi, cheeky! Why don't you have a look around your house for springs and everyday uses? like a weighing device like this. It has a closed coil spring. Introduce some weight and it's stretched open. But it doesn't want to stay open. Release that weight and it closes again. Or you might have a ballpoint pen. They have an open spring. You push it closed and when you release it, it doesn't stay closed, it clicks open again. You've probably got kitchen scales. You can't see the coil inside here, but it's an open coil. Introduce the weight, and the weight presses that coil closed. You may have a bungee too. Remember that pulling force? Stretch the bungee, and the pulling force pulls it back into shape again. And if you'd like to find out how to make a weighing device, head to my website. I'm at www.suzy dot co dot nz time for another bungee kakite i hope it's got plenty of elastic cabin look what it's doing to my hair Help! the spring is spritched spritched it's even stretched on a good day it is it doesn't want to stay there do 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 no it's nothing like the bungee you'll be okay Mum and Dad, thanks for paying your broadcasting fee.